Okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on here. All right. I'm trying out all kinds of new things, and I feel like sometimes it is not working. Technology and me are not best friends right now, but hello, happy Tuesday. Welcome, everyone. Um, if you don't know who I am, you should by now, but hi, my name is Lucy Mitchell, and I am the CEO and founder of Fierce and Beautiful Wellness. I am the owner of this fab, you know, collective that you guys are all in, and I don't know about you, but I am so relieved that the Mercury retrograde, like the planets went back to where they needed to go, because put a hallelujah or a high five or something in the chats. Um, if you're like feeling a shift in the energy back into the positive way, okay? If you were not aware, if you've been feeling heavy, anxious, like nervous, overly emotional, I hope no one made any drastic decisions over the last like 30, 60 days. Because if you did, it was all based on the energy from the um, uh, Mercury retrograde. Y'all, there were like six or seven planets all in alignment. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot, okay? So with that being said, um, I have noticed a huge shift in a lot of our emotions, mine included. So a lot of times, I want you guys to all understand that when I come in here and I want to give little trainings or little like my thoughts or like here's something that will help you, um, especially since a majority of you wanted to come in here for mindset tips, it's also a lot of times based on things that I am feeling, okay? So let me get my notes out because... I don't know about you, but in my own self journey, um, I've struggled with low self love, low self esteem. That's where the fierce and beautiful came from. I, for about forty years of my life, did not feel fierce and did not feel beautiful. I'm starting to feel like I might need to hold, like, rein back a little bit on the fierceness. It's borderline on bitchy, um, and I do apologize. <laughs> ahead of time for that. I've gotten a little too in my head about that. So I'm still figuring it out. But for the most part, I just felt like I had no value, that I had no worth. And if you feel like that, like, you know, go ahead. I mean, you're not the only one. You can, you can drop a me in the chat. And I want to tell you that there are tools, there are things you can do to boost your self-worth. Okay, because a lot of times we tell ourselves that we are just not worthy. All right, there's a quote that I found and it says we sabotage the great things in our lives because deep down we don't feel worthy of having great things. How often is that true? We sabotage the great things in our lives because deep down we don't feel worthy of having great things. Think about you as a mom. If you're a mom and you're like, you give your everything to your kids, everything to your house, everything to your spouse, and you put yourself last. Like self-care is a luxury. Like that is that is like basically putting a stamp right on your head that you have no value, that you have no worth. And it's just untrue. Like you are worthy of great things. You're worthy of all the things in life. You realize that you the biggest critic is you, all right? We criticize ourselves more than anybody else could in the world, all right? It's important for your mental health to start working on taking care of your mind and start boosting your self-esteem and your self-worth. So I'm going to share some of my best tips. Now, there's a lot, but I went to a training last night that said to captivate your attention, I should only trickle three to five. And I want you to pay attention to the podcast that's going to be dropping on Thursday where I share more on this topic, okay? So I'm just going to give you a couple little nuggets. So I'm going to give you the top, I'm going to say the top five. I think there's like 10. There's a lot. There's tons of books on this, okay? Um, but the goal is to build back your self-esteem. And look, maybe this, you're like, this doesn't even apply to me. I'm totally confident. I have, like, you know, all the things. I, like, totally do self-care. I take care of myself. I take care of, like, me first or whatever. Um, this can apply to areas of, like, maybe you're not um, achieving all of your goals, so maybe there's a, that hesitation of taking a big leap, or maybe you're doing something you no longer want to do, but you continue to do it because you don't want to, you don't want to upset other people. Okay, so this can apply to that, all right? Because that's not valuing your self worth because you're putting the needs of others before yourself. Okay, and and that can be very very dangerous. All right, 
So here we go. All right. Number one, this can be very hard to do, but I want you to try to wake up happy. The first way to overcome feelings of low self-esteem is to decide every day you're going to wake up in a great mood, whether or not you got great sleep, all right? Maybe you start by doing some gratitude, okay? Um, maybe you start with prayer. Maybe you start with some downward-facing dog and some yoga and some stretching. Get the, get the juices pumping, okay? Maybe you start by, by proclaiming today is going to be a good day. Okay, you start with that positive energy, you're going to continue with the positive energy. Okay, if you start with negative, negative is going to continue throughout the day. It just sets the tone. So set the tone in the tone that you want to have. Okay, seems simple, right? It's not. It's not because a lot of times we don't even establish the kind of day we want to have. We just get up. We don't think about it. We just like, oh, I've got to get up. I've got, I've got to go to work. I've got... You've got to like put the energy out there. You've got to you've got to manifest that. Okay? I want you to obsess over positives. Okay? When it comes to building your self-esteem back up, it's important to obsess over the things that you love about yourself. Stop focusing on the things that you hate about yourself, friend. Just stop it. Start obsessing over the things that you love. How many times has somebody come up to you and said, Oh my God, your eyes are so beautiful. And the first thing you want to you want to say is, oh, okay. Or really? Or instead of an emphatic, I know, you're like, thank you. Like it's in your face that you're not comfortable with that compliment. Okay? Stop focusing on a pimple or a blemish or a scar. And instead, Look for the things that are amazing about you. Your hair, your your eyebrows. The, the, look, we've I fought for my wrinkles. I'm going to be 48 this month. You know, it's like I, I know that I'm beautiful because my mother is beautiful. My dad was a very handsome man. Why would I not embrace somebody telling me that I'm beautiful? My husband tells me that I'm beautiful every single day. If I don't see, feel that I'm beautiful, maybe it's more about my personality and I'm not doing something. I'm not presenting myself in a beautiful way. And that's something I've got to dive deeper on. Okay. Everyone has flaws. Maybe one eyebrow is higher than the other. Or one nostril is bigger than the other. We can't control that. Okay. And if you do have a zit, wash your face. Girl, wash your face. It's okay. But still compliment yourself daily. Okay. Tip number three to boost and like you know, like identify your self-worth and like really build it is I want you to journal daily. And I'm sorry if I'm doing this. I don't have itchy scalp. There's these little, thank you collagen, these little flyaways. Okay. They are, they are driving me insane. All right. If you, if you're like, I need some flyaways, drop collagen. I'll, I'll send you the link to mine. It's, it's amazing, but it's insane. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Focus. Keep, okay, I want you to journal. Keep a journal. I just got mine. It's the five-minute journal. You could get it on Amazon. And you literally, it's five minutes, okay? You reflect in the morning, and then you reflect in the evening. That's it, okay? It's not a waste of time. It could sound lame. And I used to be one of those where I'm like, I'm not trying to get a blank notebook out and, like, dear diary, okay? I wanted a diary as a little girl with the key and all the things, and then I think I wrote in it twice, but something simple, if, if this is you, it really helps with coping mechanisms. It helps with anxiety. It helps with negative thoughts. So try journaling in a positive way, but only positive things, okay? No negative. Positive affirmations. I am statements, okay? I have statements. I will statements, okay? Not I hope. I am this is a great way to help with low self-esteem. Um, another one, I'm going to make sure I pick a good one from my notes. Okay, this one's, I want you to don't push away. Stop pushing away. Stop pushing people away because you feel unworthy. 
I feel that this is a huge problem for many. They tend to feel unworthy, so they constantly push people away who want to care for them. And this usually ties in with not wanting people to get too close. And if this is you, I want you to just stop. Okay, you deserve to have people in your life that care about you. If you continuously push those who care about you away, you will end up alone and feeling even worse. And it's really important to surround yourself with in your life with people who lift you up and make you feel loved. You are worthy of people who love you in your life. Don't think otherwise. Okay, so those are a couple of my top tips. I have more, but you have to wait for the podcast. That's going to drop on Thursday. Um, I'm I'm going with a theme this week week of being unstuck. I just filmed a reel on it. Um, I am going to be um, sending out a newsletter with regards to that. I have an article being published about it because I feel like a lot of people uh, are stuck. I know that I felt that way. I'm just doing too many things that are not really progressing me in the goals that I want to hit. And in talking with a lot of women, some of my clients, that's how they're feeling right now is they're just feeling stuck, whether it's stuck in nutrition, stuck in their health goals or stuck in their like career goals, stuck in life goals. And a lot of times it could be a lack of commitment or it could be a lack of self-esteem. Okay, and so I want you to just be like put these to into implementation. Okay, so again, I want you to start like tomorrow. I want you to wake up happy. I want you to exclaim, "It's going to be a great day today. It's going to be a great day." I want you to like look in the mirror and I want you to point out the positives. Okay, you're gorgeous. You have amazing hair. I love my eyes. Like whatever it is. Okay, don't point out your flaws, point out your positives. I want you to go get yourself a journal, even if it's just a notebook, a a post-it, you know, post-it notes, whatever. All right, and I want you to stop pushing people in your life that care about you away. Please stop doing that, all right? Um, There are many more tips and more to come. That will be um, on the podcast. But I want to talk to you about something amazing that that is coming, okay? And I dropped the link in um, the in the notes, but I am launching a four-week glow-up challenge, all right? Now, this is something new that I've never done, and I'm so excited about it. It's starting October 24th, and look, like the next season of, of the year is fast approaching. It's coming faster than we expected. How is it already October? And as long as I, I can remember... I've always loved having a month like to glow up, okay? And I'll explain to you what it means. Like I used to do it every summer before the kids started school. Like and again, like in late autumn, like before the holidays, you know, it's just kind of like an inner and outer glow up, you know, because that's when there's pictures. That's when, you know, you're taking family photos. You're just getting ready for all the holidays. And so in this glow up month, It's like a meditative time to be filled with beauty routines and honest, loving self-care. It's like a delightful way to say goodbye to summer and get ready for a busy winter. And honestly, you could do this challenge at any time, and I'm offering it to you all to do with me, and you'll have access to it forever, okay? So what does it entail? Okay, so it's four weeks. It's going to be an automatic email drip four emails, and in these emails, there's going to be one challenge or one thing to do every single day, okay? Super simple, right? Um, I have to, like, I'm trying to look at my notes here. All right, okay, so, like, I want you guys to understand something. For those that don't know what a glow-up challenge is, it, the Urban Dictionary describes it as a mental, physical, and emotional transformation for the better. Like, glow-ups can be both natural or planned as gra- as well as gradual and permanent. They can also be fast or temporary. Okay, natural glow-ups can happen 
through like puberty years. So, you know, like we watch our kids go through that stage where they just kind of like, I don't know, it's just they blossom. Okay. Sometimes it's pretty, sometimes not so much, but it's still a beautiful process, even though they will disagree with you. But I think, I personally think the best glow ups happen when you fall in love. Okay. We all get that glow. Okay. So what is the glow up challenge? All right. So we're going to be dedicating a month to ourselves, improving our wellness, our health, our looks, and our mental strength. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, to look and feel our absolute best. All right. Even if it's one of the busiest months for you, this is the perfect time to take the glow up challenge. Okay. So yeah, wait, what, like, what, what am I talking about? Right. So like the more work, the more chores you have to do, it, this is, the more time you need to focus on yourself. Like we tend to, when we get busy, we skip the self care. That's when we start to look tired. Like I've noticed it myself. I've been focusing so much on like my clients and planning content and planning courses, planning this, that I haven't been working out, that I haven't been doing my face care, that I haven't been drinking enough water. So that's why I was like, I need to do this challenge just as much as everyone else. So I'm doing this with you. Because I want to be glowing for the holidays. I don't even know what a Texas Christmas looks like, but I am here for it. Okay, so this is, you know, they're little tiny steps. It's nothing drastic. Um, but I want you to be super dedicated so that in less than 30 days, you are going to see some amazing changes, both internally and externally okay so what will happen after this challenge you're gonna feel physically better healthier and stronger you might lose a few pounds but in a hundred percent healthy way okay you are going to look better you're gonna look prettier you're gonna feel happier and possibly develop some new healthier habits okay and um you're going to emulate and feel more joyful like who doesn't want to go into the holidays more joyful instead of stressed, all right? Like we're going to ditch the feeling tired and in a bad mood and lack of motivation. And instead we're going to swap out all those negative moods and we're going to put in, we're going to exchange them for all positive, okay? So part one is going to be all about how to glow up your body. Part two is how to glow up your face. Part three is how to glow up your hair. Part four is how to glow up your nails. And then part five is how to glow up your mind, Okay, so um, it's for a limited time. It's only $47, y'all. $47 plus I have a planner for you to be able to take notes, keep track, all the things. Okay, so like I said, there's a wait list. I dropped the link. It's just a landing page. So click that link, sign up, $47, we'll, and we start October 24th. I'm going to be... As soon as I have you on my wait list, then I will send you the link in order for you to pay the $47 and everything will go and you'll get into the Facebook group where we can hold each other accountable and I'll go live like twice and just check in. But seriously, like the content that is planned and the things you're doing, like it's just four emails, but there's links for like all the different tools and stuff like the meal plans, like the stuff that I have put together for you guys, I am so excited because I get to do it with you. And my birthday is two days later after we start. Like this would be the best birthday present to me to have as many people doing with this with me as possible. Okay, so it's called the Glow Up Workshop, Glow Up Challenge. It's not a challenge. It's going to be fun. Okay, one of them is just to start drinking, you know, eight glasses of water a day, which you're already doing. But there's a link to a really fun water bottle, okay? And then there's like links to fun masks, okay? So we might even have a spa party in the Facebook group. Like it's a, all about community and it's all about finding and resurfacing your inner glow because you deserve this, all right? So be on the lookout for this week's podcast. I'm so excited for it. We've got a new blog and a new newsletter coming very soon. Check out my website. It's all revamped, lucymitchell.com. I'm going to have a big, huge unveiling coming at the end of the month with a new freebie. I'm working on a lot of amazing things for you guys. Um, and again, like I want you to constantly 
and like work on your self-improvement, work on your self-esteem, work on your self-love. And if this is something that you struggle with, I do have like one-offs, like a one-on-one 90-minute intensive where we can just deep dive in one area and I can give you a few tools. Um, it's, you know, it's a great coaching session where you're not committed to 12 weeks with me if that's something you just can't do. So um, please, you know, head over to the links in my bio and it's in my milkshake and you can definitely book that, okay? Because I'm here and available for you because at the end of the day, you are fierce. You are beautiful. I believe in you. I honor you for being a part of this community and I hope that you found some value in this. I look forward to seeing you in the Glow Up Challenge and I can't wait to bring you some more amazing content next week.